Hi, I'm Sean Gann, and this is Minute Math. And today, we're going to learn about adding and subtracting polynomials and simplifying each expression. So, if I was given this expression, 3a squared plus 1, parentheses, minus 4 plus 2a squared, parentheses. Okay? So, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to distribute that subtraction sign across. There's nothing I can do to simplify this parentheses, so I'm going to rewrite this to be 3a squared plus 1. I'm going to distribute that uh, minus sign across, so we have uh, minus a 4, or plus, excuse me, a negative 4, and then subtraction here, plus a negative 2a squared. Okay, so we distributed that minus sign across. Make sure you do that, okay? Now I'm going to rearrange my like terms together in my highest degree first, so 3a squared. Then I have another, oh, negative plus a negative 2a squared. Then we have a plus 1 and a plus a negative 4. Okay. Now let's combine my like terms. 3a squared plus a negative 2a squared is just a squared, right? 1a squared. And then 1 plus a negative 4 is a negative 3. So we have a minus 3 here. Same thing, right? Adding a negative. Same thing as subtracting 3. And then we have, we have a squared minus 3 as our final answer. So let's recap. We're given 3a squared plus 1 in parentheses minus parentheses 4 plus 2a squared. I distributed my subtraction across. Make sure you do that to both parts. It's always good to do. Okay, I distribute that subtraction. We have plus a negative 4, plus a negative 2a squared. And I like to see it as plus a negative. I find it easier. Then I rearrange using the commutative property. Put my a squareds first, then my constants second. So I have 3a squared plus a negative 2a squared, plus 1 plus a negative 4. Now I combine my like terms. 3a squared plus a negative 2a squared is a squared, and 1 plus a negative 4 is a negative 3, and adding a negative 3 is the same thing as subtracting a 3, and so now we have our final answer, which is a squared minus 3.